so welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lovis so for today's video this one's an interesting one I was kind of overdue for a coloring chat um because I haven't done one for a while and to be honest I really needed to do one just to catch up with you guys well the other day I was watching um Lisa from coloring my way and I watched her tag video, which was, I've written it down, it is this or that tag uh, round two. And I watched the video and she very, very kindly tagged me in the video at the end. So thank you, Lisa. Uh, I do appreciate that. So I thought now would be the perfect time to catch up on a colour and chat and we'll do that tag together. So the picture I'm going to colour in is, well, I started this picture the other day but I didn't get to finish it because I was quite busy. So um, I thought we'd carry on with the picture that I started doing <laughs> the other day. Cat's just jumped up. Hello Leo. Yeah, Mummy's got to do a colour and chat. Yeah, and I've got to do a colour and chat. <laughs> Sorry about the camera wobbly. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to kind of have to manage with Leo on the table. He's sort of refusing to get off. <laughs> it's because I'm in his chair again. That's what it is, because I'm in his chair. He's not in mine. I'm in his. So anyway, guys, we'll make a start of this just in case I can't uh, in uh, for any interruptions again. So yeah, this is the page I'm starting on. This is the mandalas by Sachin Sach Diva. And to colour this mandala, I am using the Crayola Take Note markers. It's the first time that I've ever used these. And I'm liking them. I really do like them. They're a lot like your Sharpies. As in the barrel and also the tips without the smell which is perfect for me because I've tried using the sharpie markers I am um, I like to use them but oh gosh the the smell of them are just too much so I'm going to sh shut the curtain here because it's the lighting's not perfect so I hope that's okay for you guys and that it's not too dark I have put the lighting on my phone but We'll just kind of have to roll with it. So, number one is yellow. So, I've just got to do the outside in yellow. Come on, go on. I've missed number seven there for red. So, I'll we'll make a start. So, this is this or that tag, round two. Um, I'm not sure who actually created the tag. Um... But I was tagged in by Colouring My Way by Lisa. So what I will do is I'll leave a link to her channel in the descriptions below. Uh, Lisa is a lovely fellow YouTuber and also a lovely friend as well. And she's on Instagram so please feel free to go and check her out. Um, so we'll get into it before I run out of time, before I've even answered some of the questions. So, question number one was, I'm reading off my pad because I just can't remember it in my head. So, question number one, colouring at your desk or colouring in bed? Now, oh, it's a bit of a funny one, this one, because I, ha I do colour in bed. However, I can't do it for too long because of my back hurting. And I do colour sometimes at my table, but I have the same problem <laughs> with my back. So it's kind of neither of them. But if I was to have to choose, I'd probably say colour in bed. Um, because that, if I can't sleep of the night, that's what I do do. I'd colour in bed. So we're going on to the yellows round there. So question number two. Crayola Super Tips or Stadler Mark Stadler Markers. Now I do like my Crayola Super Tips. I think they're really good. I do like them, um, but I also like my Stadler Markers. So I'm going to pick for this one Stadler Markers. 
because I love using the Staedtler Tri Plus colouring pens. Those are one of my favourite water based markers to use. However, I do like my Crayolas. But yeah, if I was supposed to choose, I think I would choose Staedtler markers because I do like the um, Tri Plus pens and, of course, the three. Is it three two sixes? So, question number three. Eerie's Romantic Countries or Tracing Series, is it? I do apologise if I've got that wrong. I'm going to go with Eerie's Romantic Countries. Um, apart from the fact uh, I've never heard of Tracing Series. Um, but I have got two of Eerie's Romantic Country books and have coloured a couple of pictures out of there. So I'm going to choose that one. So next question number four. Satin Satch Diva colour by number or colour questopia? Now out of all the questions I'll be honest this one was the hardest one because I absolutely love both. I love Satin Satch Diva's work for is easy artwork and it's just so enjoyable and pleasant to colour especially when you want something just easy to do I do apologise about me I'm going across the page it's good for when you want something really easy and simple to do um, I love colour Questopia obviously for the choice as well but saying that you get the same with Satchin so if I had to choose, though, now this wouldn't be because I think one is better than the other. Um, that is definitely not the case. The reason why I'm choosing this one is because I said easy artwork to do. And at the minute I do need easy and relaxing um, artwork to colour. I'm going to choose Satin Satch Diva for this one. But as I said before, it's not because I prefer them. Um, because I love Such and Such Diva and Colour Quest Alpia both the same. It's because obviously I'm going with the most easiest choice. So, question number five Hannah Lynn's simple version or detail version? Now, I do like Hannah Lynn. I've got a couple of her books. I did have more, but I did part with them. Um, because I just found that I stuck more to my colour boy number. But um, if like, I have to choose, the detail version's good. Because obviously it gives you more detail. But I think I'm going to go with, with the whole... Um, I want to enjoy and relax and just do something simple. I'm going to go with the simple version of Hannah Lynn. Um, I'm going to choose that one. Because, yeah, um, I'm trying to go for this more simple, stress-free colouring pages at the minute. So, number six. Colouring animals or colouring people. Now, with the books that I've got, I do a lot of colour by number. And a lot of them are colouring animals. But, if I shall be honest, if I have to choose, I think I prefer colouring people. Yeah, colouring animals are okay. And I must admit, I do love animals, I absolutely love them. But there's only so much animal colouring that you can do before you get a bit bored, <laughs> so to speak. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with colouring people for that one. As I said, I do like colouring animals, but I'm more of a colouring people kind of person. So, question number seven. Plan your colours in advance or just wing it? No, yeah, I just wing it. I'll be honest with that. I just wing it because it's 
having to plan things and decide where colours I'm going to use and everything for me especially at the moment it just yeah it's the whole stress free kind of thing I just need something simple so I definitely just wing it so question number eight straight colouring or blended colouring I have done blended colouring but I must admit I'm just a straight colourist I don't like to take too long on a picture um, because I do get a little bit bored if it goes on for too long but I have done blended colouring so every now and again you will see blended colouring from me question number nine colour by number or colour by colour now this is a no brainer really definitely colour by number I've not tried colour by colour much I brought the spring book by Kira Shershineva and I tried to match up the colours um, with the colour code on the colour key page and I'll admit I had a hard time trying to do that with my markers <clears throat> and yeah I just I don't know I don't think I've given myself enough time to try colour by colour and I have since spoken to Lauren Loves to Colour and she has advised the best book to go with would be the Mandala one first just to get used to it so I'm not completely right in colour by colour off I'm just at the moment for the question's sake I'm going to go with colour by number so I'm going to go a bit quicker through these um, questions to make sure that we get them all in. So number 10, alcohol markers or Sharpies slash permanent markers. Now even though I'm using permanent markers at the minute because I did want to try them out and I do like these because I haven't got that pungent smell. I'm definitely going to go with alcohol markers. Sharpies, I first started using Sharpies when I first started colouring and the smell it, they have got a pungent smell but I was using them the other day and I'm not joking you they were giving me such a headache with the smell so I had to stop using them so yeah definitely alcohol markers even though I'm going to get the mystic gem sharpies when I see them so 11 colouring realistically or wacky colours I'm going to go with wacky colours because I do like realistic stuff but I also like really colourful stuff. Um, so yeah, wacky colours for that one. Question number 12. Colour while listening to podcast, music or audiobook? I don't really do either. If I'm colouring, I either I'm listening to YouTube or I'm watching something on Netflix so I don't really do that but if I had to choose one out of them I think I'd probably choose audiobook because it'd be like you could listen to a book while you're colouring oh, I'm sorry if the camera's dark guys I hope it doesn't hurt in the video so number 13 Kirby Rose Sands Worlds Within Worlds or Fragile World now, I've had one of Kirby Rosanne's books before and I'll admit they're not for me. They're very, very detailed and I don't really know. Um, if, I've heard of these books but I've not really seen them because I don't own them. So, for I, uh, I can't really answer a lot on that. But if I had to choose one, I think I'd probably go with Worlds Within Worlds. <laughs> So, number 14, Camellia Angel Cove Mandalas or Miniature Series. I'm going to go with Mandalas for this one because I don't own any of the Miniature Series books because I'm trying to kind of lay off a little bit from purchasing books that are not, either not colour by number or patterns unless the ones that I really want. And I have got the Mandalas one by... Camellia Angel Carver, so I'm gonna go with that one. The miniatures do look cute, though they do look cute. But yeah, so number fifteen, 
body colour or colour on your own. Now, um, I am mostly eye colour on my own, but that's not kind of by choice. Um, I don't get asked a lot to do a body colour. I've been asked a couple of times um, by the lovely Sonia's Mixed Media and also Mrs Colouring Craze. But that's about it. It's not for that I don't, I don't want, like to, I don't want to. It's just that I've never been, re no one's reached out to me. So guys, if you are watching this and you would like to do a body colour, just pop it in the comments or message me on Instagram. I would love to do a body colour with you. So 16. Trying a new artist or buying from an old art favourite. So um, I'll admit, I do buy from my old favourites. Obviously, Colour Questopia, Such and Such Diva, Sun Live Drawing, Kira Shoshaneva. Um, However, I am more than willing to try new artists, definitely. <clears throat> so, such as Debbie Densham and also Dot Picks. So I'm more than happy to try new artists. So, next one. 17. Colourful or neutral palette. I'm going to go with colourful palette because it goes back to the thing before. I do like my colourful pictures. So definitely, definitely going with the colourful palette. Sorry about that. It's just the sun was blaring in and affecting the picture so I'm definitely colourful palette so next one typical colour a page in one sitting or little by little now I try and do a page in one sitting but sometimes if it's a long page I don't always get that page done so it's such as if I'm colouring before I get the kids from school obviously I don't get the page finished because I need to get them from school um, but do I prefer to get a page done in one sitting yeah I do because I like to get my pages finished and sometimes I can do it's like the Belba family style mosaics um, I can do about three of them two three of them in one go and um, depending on the time if it's the evening of course so the last one, um, I mean number 19, colour while watching TV or colour while watching YouTube. Now I do colour while watching T well Netflix if you can class that as TV or my EastEnders classics. But if I was to say what do I colour on mostly, I would probably say YouTube because I do watch a lot of YouTube. I love watching all of your channels. And it does get me in the mood for colouring, so yeah. I'm going to go with YouTube for that one. So the last question is colour by number pixel, mosaic or standard colour by number. For this one, do you know something? I think I'm going to go with pixel and mosaic because I've been really enjoying them. Because obviously pixel is the Belba family, which I do love, the very close to my heart the Belper family are because I've been with them for a little bit following them um, but I do love my pixel books and I do love the mosaic books as well so yeah definitely pixel and mosaic books so guys we have actually ended this really good because I've actually finished my picture on camera how cool is that? I never, and I mean I never, and you can back me up on this one, I never finish a picture on camera, but I finished it while answering these questions. So, that is my picture from my Satin Satch Diva book. I'll zoom you back out now. So, that is the picture done from the Satin Satch Diva book. Those are my questions for the this all that tag round part two so it's now time for me to tag three people now i don't know who's been tagged or who's not been tagged in this um so i do apologize if 
the three people who I'm going to name have already been tagged. If you've already been tagged, please ignore this. <laughs> but I couldn't really think um, of who to tag who had not been tagged in the ad. So the three people I'm going to tag, number one is Lisa from Lisa's Colouring Corner. I tag you. Number two is Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven. Your number two tag. And third number tag is Nikki in Niagara. So I tag you. So those are the three people I'm going to tag in the video. As I said before, if you have already been tagged and you've already done the video or you've been tagged by others, please ignore this video. But yeah, I couldn't think of who else to tag as well. So anyway guys that is the end of the this or that tag round two i hope you've enjoyed it and i'm quite pleased actually that i've finished a picture on camera even though technically i didn't start it and as for these markers i do love these markers i do want to get the 24 set i will be having a look in um my local wh smith sometime in the next two in the next week or so see if i can get the larger set so guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that if you're not already subscribed to the channel then please feel free to press that subscribe button i would love to have you here I just want to say as well before you go thank you thank you so much to everybody um i've recently hit my first for where uh, 1k subscribers my first thousand subscribers and i just want to thank you so much for that i will be doing a giveaway but i'm going to leave it a week or two just for it to go up a little bit before i do the giveaway obviously um not to mention i'm kind of on a no buy at the minute because i've got no money <laughs> So, let's be honest, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I'm on an hour by at the minute. But yeah, I will be doing the giveaway in the next, probably, it might be three weeks um, time. I hope that's okay for you guys. Um, I hope that's okay, at least. And I can give myself time to get the prize and for it to go up a bit more. So, is there anything you want to say, Leo? Then as you jumped up again. Want to say hi? Oh, he's loving the camera. <laughs> he said he loves you guys. Anyway, I'm going to get going now. I'm going to give my baby some love. Even though it's probably just the cherry ones and not love. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, my baby. Oh, my ba he's trying to get on the chair while I'm at it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going because I think he does want his chair. So, I hope to see you again soon, guys. And thank you for watching. So, goodbye for now, guys. Bye.